Well, of course, I suppose you don't quite have the same pantomime. There's no fans for him to kind of get the booing and what have you. So we're underway, and it's Barry Bannon straight away kicking us forward as life after Tony Pulis begins with uh, Neil Thompson in charge today. Obviously a man who knows the football club very well. He's been here a long time in different roles. Assisted by uh, Lee Bullen down there and Nicky Weaver as uh, Wednesday just try and get the ball back here with Moses Odebadjo just playing it through in towards Short Short finding Patterson who is just giving it away rather cheaply he was looking for Ballon but it was rather predictable that pass and Wing was able to intercept well done Liam Palmer just uh, getting his toe end on it and now Wednesday have the ball just on the halfway line with Windass combining just slipping it through as Wednesday go out to the That's left hand side and Ballon ball. goes down the line scampering after it Kadeem Harris Nearly got there. The goalkeeper has to leave his box and Bettinelli concedes a throw-in. Yeah, decent build-up play from Wednesday. A lovely little chip from Barry Bannon into the path of Harris. The goalkeeper got there first. Palmer just has to adjust his feet and comes back towards Westwood, who gets it away. Goes in the air. Wednesday looking for Patterson there through the goalkeeper. And then Harris goes down. I don't know whether he'll get a foul. Does he? He's yeah, just he's taken a, a tumble. I think I don't think it was accidental. I don't think it was anything malicious, but uh, he did catch him. Caught him late. I think uh, Kadeem Harris was just trying to see it out, see the ball go out for a throw, but uh, he's got a free kick, which is even better. Yeah, Barry Ballon standing there and he takes it quickly down Decent the line. It ball. goes, Wednesday Decent trying ball. to catch them. Cold and they almost managed to uh, create something out of nothing. That just flashed past the post. It was a very tight angle there for, I think it was Windass, wasn't it, running onto the ball. But uh, some good inventive play there from Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, superb ball from Ballon, a great run from Windass. And he's flashed his shot just wider, left footer. Looks like it's McNair who's uh, standing over the ball, a very uh, talented former Manchester United man who I think he scored against Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken, in a previous fixture at uh, the Riverside. Just dropping down in towards the midfield area there with Saville. It'll come back towards Bowler to try and cross it. He tried to will stand it up. It's come back again. Another opportunity to cross over. They're going to just try and screw it in towards the middle along Liam the floor. Palmer gets it away. Away from Johnson's ball in. Still Wednesday <laughs> trying to close ranks and getting a toe in there was short. But that was certainly a, a scare for Sheffield Wednesday. Goes down the line again from Johnson. Marvin Johnson's knocked it out of play though and it will be a Wednesday throw in. Yeah, excellent defending from Liam Palmer. It's uh, Marvin Johnson who smashed it across the six-yard box. Liam just uh, gets back there to cover his goalkeeper. Will come forward. He has support from Johnson, but he plays it inside instead, and he might get the return here. He has off the That's number nine. Oh, Asamba Longa, they tried to play him through, but Westwood's out and alive to the situation yeah, and gets good, hold of the ball. Good job he was. It was a well, lovely little movement from Middlesbrough. Trying to thread the ball through for Asamba Longa, but uh, Kieran Westwood was equal to it. Straight off his line. Westwood kicks it away then, left-footed, as he sliced that slightly. I don't know, but it's going to go in the air, and it nearly managed to find uh, Windass challenging for the ball. Wednesday battling away, but they can't make it stick. And Middlesbrough have got it. They're just enjoying a little bit more possession in the last few minutes as they play that one down the line. Looking for Watmore, who's trying to turn his man inside, and he's played it across, and sliding in there was uh, Somba Longa, and he's just clocked Westwood, I think, with a trailing leg. Westwood perhaps got a kick in the head, but uh, that was scary. Well, way terrific around. ball al along the six-yard box from Watmore. Somba Longa sliding in, uh, you know, I think it's... Uh, I think it's an accident, no, no intent. As I say, quite frightening from, from both points of view, one from a defensive, but also the well-being of Westwood. They uh, get a little bit more into this game. It's a bit of a sluggish start from them. Wednesday needs to be careful. Here is uh, Tom Lees. He's gone long. Should be dealt with by the defender, and it was headed away by the number six, Fry. Wednesday battling to get it back and they have got it here with Barry Bannon. Bannon trying to make some space, moving across towards the right-hand side. Wednesday with Windass. No, that's Windass has given an awful ball away and it's taken on the halfway line and a chance to burn rubber coming forward. Wednesday needs to try and stop them, but it's played through in towards Johnson. Johnson Great goes for goal. Save. He went alone, but there were options. Maybe he's a little bit selfish, I don't know, but the what goalkeeper closed the angle down well. Bannon. Great back heel there from Barry Bannon in towards Shaw. Counter-attacking play now from Wednesday, but a misunderstanding there from Patterson and Bannon and ends up going out of play. That's happening a few times. Tremendous flick from Bannon. 
that uh, big mistake from us. The referee's coming across now. Is he going to speak to Is it a fourth official? Well, that nothing comes off there for Middlesbrough, thankfully. And Wednesday trying to regain the ball here on the halfway line, and they have got it here with Harris, just trying to play it forward. He was closed down by Dyke Steel. It will be a throw in for Wednesday, right on the halfway line. See a load of supporters around the uh, the hoardings. The electronic boards have got uh, various faces. Just trying to keep them connected, I suppose, with the football club in these uh, trying times. Ball just goes forward. That's a great George. ball. Here's Patterson. Can he put it away? He tries yes! to slide oh! it. Onto one foot, then the other. It had just enough pace to go past Bettinelli. And Wednesday catching Middlesbrough on the hop there. And with half an hour played, it's Sheffield Wednesday 1, Middlesbrough nil. Well, that's a superb ball into him, but... You've got to give Patterson lots of credit here because his, his first touch is brilliant. I actually thought that uh, his second touch was was one too many, that he'd uh, he'd wasted the chance, but no. What a ball from Great Liam Palmer, ball. though. Great ball from Palmer, takes it really well. Has another touch, which I thought he was going to shoot from, but that touch has just you know, attracted the goalkeeper out and then he slid it under him with his left foot. That was a really well-taken goal. It was. Callum Patterson on target again for Sheffield Wednesday. In there for Morsey. Morsey. From a Chesterfield man, always been impressed by Sam Morsey. Has it now. Receiving the ball and playing it forward for Lewis Wing and he puts it in the air. That's a decent ball headed down and Wednesday make the interception with Shaw. They still need to get it away. It's Ooh. pinging around and I don't know whether Shaw was almost looking to the referee wondering if he'd caught his man there for a second. Well, I He seemed to stop. Yeah, to be fair, I mean, an excellent play from Middlesbrough. Good deep cross and Sombolonga heads it back. Um, but then uh, Wednesday defended it really well. I'm not sure who it was who got the toe to it to... Uh, Get it away, but it's gone behind. It's a Middlesbrough corner. They are uh, applying the pressure at the moment. Here is uh, Wednesday coming forward down this left-hand side. And again, play. it is good play. And it's with Harris. So, well, he just kicks it, I think, at the legs of the defender. Lucky, though. Lucky. Good work again. Patterson, Windus and Harris combining. But they're able to concede the throw. Wednesday take the throw in short for Barry Bannon. Here's Harris. Harris, little step over. Still Kadeem Harris. Can he manage to send this one over? Still Kaz has it and he goes back for Bannon. Bannon supported again by Harris and those two just He's about get well. away He's with it. Well. It comes back for Bannon inside. It's a great Puts ball. the crossover. Shaw's yeah! yeah! yes! touch on the second. Well, this hasn't happened for a long time. Two goals for Wednesday in one game and they both come against Middlesbrough here at Hillsborough tonight. The house leading by two goals to nil. Well... Good play over on that left-hand side. Harrison uh, Bannon combining. And a little bit for a fortune, but uh, it's come uh, to Bannon and a delightful cross across the uh, six-yard box. And Shaw's still got a lot of work to do. He has to make sure he gets a good connection. That wasn't a, a, a simple chance. He was bouncing. He must have been dreaming, you know, please bounce right. And it did. And he contacted it perfectly. We praised him tonight, and we he's, well, he's gone about his business, and uh, he'll be thrilled to have his first goal for Sheffield Wednesday. Massive, that'll be massive for him. And uh, yep, great jubilation from all the players. Now we've got to carry this on. We've really got to carry this on. So far, and that experience has uh, certainly uh, been very helpful for Sheffield Wednesday. I think it's fair to say this evening. It looks like there's a bit of holding there on. Uh, I thought there was a wind. lot of holding. Yes, a lot of holding. He was sort of moved out of the way like a piece of furniture that was being moved into a different place in the lounge anyway. Still Middlesbrough coming forward. How wide it goes. And now here's uh, Watmore trying to slide it back inside there for Wing. Wing's just coming backwards and he's played it away towards Sir Paddy McNair. The former Manchester United youngster swings it over. Great ball, inviting. And that ball could have gone anywhere. It just seemed to hit everybody. And eventually, the outcome is a corner. Came off the Wednesday player in the end. Yeah, again, an example of uh, Middlesbrough getting those crosses in. Loads of pace on them. Plenty of players in the box. Got a header. But, uh, we managed to uh, scramble it away. But I'm sure this is going to be fired in as well. It goes oh, in no. short, in it's fact. Short, towards yeah. Wing. Lewis Wing. 
Will he play it back towards Johnson, who took the corner? It's still with Wing, trying to get the better of Barry Bannon. Who well done. He slams it into the legs of Bannon. Stuck to his task. Ball just goes in towards the area. Well, that's a push. Wednesday need to be careful. It's coming to the free man and it's been turned home. <coughs> well, that's not what we wanted at the start of the half. It's what more I think we've been talking about a lot in this half. Who's ended up picking his spot and finding the corner. He just seemed to be left on his own, didn't he, there? And that's why it's now Sheffield Wednesday 2, Middlesbrough 1. Exactly the start that we didn't want. The third goal was always going to be vital. And unfortunately, Middlesbrough have got it. In it goes from Johnson. He fires deep. it long. It is deep. A good header, though, won by Sheffield Wednesday. And Tom Lees just slightly missed the header. Get a second bite of the cherry here to get it away. And that is exactly what is achieved by uh, Mosey on a bad joke. Just uh, rifles it into their half. It's been touched back here towards Bettinelli. He'll boot it long. Can we win this header? Doesn't drop over Kadeem Harris's head. He wins the header and finds Shaw now. Yeah, Pelopesi he's done well. He's done well. Goes in towards uh, Patterson. And Wednesday played away now for on a badger. Play it down the line. There's Windass. He, he finds him. Here is Josh Windass. There's a defender coming towards him, which is Fry. Chance. Puts the cross in there. Nice little oh, flick there from Patterson. Improvisation. Play. Just trying to flick at it, really. It was maybe slightly behind him, but Bettinelli was required to turn it aside. Yeah, that's terrific play from Windass. An excellent uh, attempt by Patterson. Goalkeeper couldn't hold on to it. No, I don't think it was the uh, hardest of shots. So uh, Izzy Brown still waiting uh, to come on. Ellie who's played it out towards the uh, left full back and now Bola will advance over the halfway line he goes in loads of space at the moment just dabs it back inwards and they move it across in towards Tavernier the substitute Tavernier back out wide for Bola Tavernier still there gets it on the return tries a little one two and he'll get it on the return again and Tavernier just misses the post not by much Westwood diving wouldn't have got there it was a great play, really, from Middlesbrough. Good link-up play and good movement from the substitute. Yeah, that was excellent. The uh, ripped us apart there, to be fair. A one-touch football, delightful little back heel. And, and he goes with his left foot. It was a right-footed finish, not a left one. Fortunately for us, he, uh, he knocks it wide. I was just thinking, uh, since the goal, that Middlesbrough really haven't, uh, haven't really tested uh, Kieran Westwood. But now... Finds Fry who just plays it into the gap and they've tried to move it through. What more was maybe caught, but they've got a chance now. Bowler just works it on. A low cross will go in. In fact, it That's hits the, it, post. the post. He went for the goal himself. Johnson back again. They've got another chance blocked off. I think maybe Tom Lees gets the uh, intervention inside the six yard area. But that almost caught Westwood out completely. That smashed against the post. You could see the, the goal rattling. I thought it was going to be a cross. I assume that's what he was going for. Another let off for us. We just seem to have lost our shape a little bit now. There seems to be loads of space over that left hand side. Wednesday need to get this ball back. They're going to slip it inside. This could be a chance. I think it's Tavernier screwing it back in towards one more. Good tackle there from Dunkley on the slide. Gets it away, but that was dangerous. Brown oh, struggles to keep it in play. It's going to be a throw in for Middlesbrough. It's with Bettinelli. He kicks it long. Bannon won't jump for it, will he? No, he doesn't get the header. Don't let it run through. It's poked out get wide. Out, get out. A chance get for out. Spence to try and cross it. He just about keeps it in play, but it will be a Wednesday throw in. Just get it away down the other end now, Wednesday. There you go! It's the whistle. And Neil Thompson can celebrate victory as Wednesday begin life. After Tony Pulis with a 2-1 victory, it's been quite an effort from the Owls tonight. Goals from Callum Patterson and Liam Shaw in the first half, both well taken. It got interesting in the second half when Duncan Watmore managed to pull one back for Middlesbrough four minutes after the restart. Despite some threatening moments for Middlesbrough, the Owls dug deep and claim a vital three points to finish 2020 with something to cheer about. Well, vital, vital points. You know, Seven points out of the last nine. But uh, showed a lot of character, especially second half, when uh, the last thing we wanted to do was concede so early after the half-time. But, you know what, Ivangin uh, restricted them. Yeah, 
you can't uh, say that Middlesbrough didn't have a, a couple of chances, but great uh, performance, great work rate, great energy. Uh, and I don't think you can do anything but praise the team, the squad uh, and everybody tonight for that result.